establishing a reservoir for water supply, irrigation, flood control, and hydroelectric projects in hilly terrains, generally involves building a dam or a weir structure across the river section. Hence, the first task or activity is the diversion of river water to facilitate the main construction activities of dam. Diversion tunnels are common in the construction of dams. When a dam is built, a tunnel is bored in order to divert river water away from the dam construction site, so that it basically bypasses it, thus the term diversion tunnel. The sequence of dam excavation and river water diversion stages, in general, are as follows. Stage 1, if diversion tunnel is designed to be located on the right bank, Excavate right bank main dam and cofferdam abutments and prepare excavation for diversion tunnel. Stage 2, excavate left bank main dam and cofferdam abutments and build diversion tunnel. Stage 3, build cofferdams. Stage 4, excavate main dam foundation in riverbed, river water to be diverted through diversion tunnel, and the seepage into excavation to be controlled by a pumping system. Stage 5, build main dam and appurtenant structures, river water diverted through diversion tunnel, and the seepage into excavation controlled by a pumping system as long as required. Stage 6, plug diversion tunnel, remove downstream cofferdam and start reservoir impounding. The design of tunnel support systems is contingent or depending on rock mass types, example limestone, tough, mudstone, Thus, tunnel support could be rock bolts and or steel frames in combination with shotcrete, with wire mesh. The design loads for the tunnel support include, weight of materials or dead load, rock pressure, and hydrostatic pressure. In the stability evaluation and design of concrete lining of tunnels, multiple load cases are used, these are, construction condition, plug condition, and operating condition. Excavation of the tunnels can be done by drill and blast method from inlet and outlet, simultaneously. The results of the rock parameters obtained during excavation may possibly cause revision of primary support and final lining of tunnels. With the start of excavation and knowledge of geological conditions, the verified or determined engineering classification of rock, rock mass rating and quality, may consider rock support be reduced to spot bolting. In cases where the rock mass was in good condition, only shotcrete may be used. One of the important items in design and construction of tunnels is the review and revision of the initial design of the tunnels during construction process. Geological studies and preliminary estimates of the rock parameters are also important in design and construction of tunnels. <laughs>